What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to showcase to you guys what in my opinion is the new best pulse rifle in this entire fucking game for PvP. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much, much appreciated. Okay, so this weapon right here, as you can see in the title, is the Suros PDX41. This is obtained from the Gunsmith here, the packages you get from him on a Wednesday. So if you see that Suros PDX41 pop up there, you grab that motherfucker and you be patient for a decent roll. Because I'm telling you guys now, this thing absolutely wrecks faces within PvP. And you guys will see a... Well, a little bit of gameplay footage from me in a short second. Now, let me just show you guys my... I've got actually three of these things. I mean, I just keep getting better and better rolls. The one I'm currently using is this one right here. As you can see, we have the SLO19. Not many people like this type, but I actually do. I think it's pretty badass. We have Perfect Balance, Feather Mag. We have Counter Balance, Snapshot, and Injection Mode. As you can see, I'm using Perfect Balance, Counter Balance, and Injection Mode. Now, all the clips you will see uh, in a well, in a couple minutes are me using this version right here. But have a look at the other ones I've got. Look at this one. Look at that range, we've got perfect balance, we've got counter balance, and we've got rifled bow, and we've got the same sight, which I actually love. This weapon is incredible. I, I, I can't say anything, it's just incredible. Now, have a look at the latest one I got. Here we got Hammer Forged, Appended Magazine, Full Auto, Lightweight, and Hand Laid Stock. I'd probably rock this with. Hammer Forge, Full Auto and Hand Laid Stuck, but even still, I can have more bullets in my mag if I choose to. Because Pulse Rifles ain't really affected that much by range, if you haven't noticed already. And I mean, it's just an absolute flipping beast, it really is. Now, um, this is a part of the 66-14 Retifier Impact Pulse Rifles. Uh, others in this category are the Red Death, the... What's it called? The No Time to Explain, the Exotics. We then have the Hopscotch Pilgrim, which I have an actual beastly one of this as well, which I still need to try out, but I've, I've used one before and I just it, I just don't remember it feeling as good as this PDX. Here I've got Counterbalance, Brace Frame, which reduces magazine size, unfortunately, and Glass Half Full. Um, we've got the Herja D, which I recently made a video on, which I absolutely love. This PDX is much better. We have the Villainy. This is a great weapon, I'm not going to lie, but still. I had a storm, we've got hand laid stock, and we've got glass half full. And to be honest, this this kind, this type of pulse rifle, this archetype of pulse rifles, in my opinion, are the new best in the game. It's just finding that one that works best for you. For me, it's the PDX-41 by an absolute mile. We then have the No Wind's Mercy, which we all know is a great weapon too. And we have the Steel Medulla, which is the raid weapon, which is also quite decent. Um, it's a hacker weapon, it shoots 4 bullets instead of... It's a lot like the Herger D, to be honest, it's like a reskin Herger D, we all know that shit. But yes, the PDX-41, guys, keep an eye on it with the gunsmith, because I'm telling you what, when it comes, you must pick this motherfucker up now. While you watch the clips in the background now, I'll give you guys a bit of his in-depth uh, uh, base stats. It will shoot 6 bullets per second, it does 20 damage to the body, and it does 30 damage to the fucking face. It will empty its entire clip in 4.24 seconds. Its reload time is 2.07 seconds. Uh, its reload and ADS ready time is 2.17 seconds. Um, its damage per second to the body is 120. Its damage per second to the face is 180. It's got an aim assist of between 55 and 60 depending on the perks. It's got an equip speed of between 26 and 81 also depending on perks. And its recoil direction stat is a 70. Now. The thing is about this weapon is, it's just like, it's a headshot machine. It's just an absolute headshot machine. And as you can probably see by the clips in the background now, once you on target of that head and you just spam that more fucking trigger, they drop dead so fast. And it's so easy to take out multiple targets with this weapon. That's what I love most about it. Because like I'm using other pulse rifles, even when I used to use the Clever Dragon and the Gr uh, not the Gr I was going to say Grim Citizen then. The Clever Dragon and what's the one you get from Omnigo? I can't even remember. The Grasp of Malik, that's the one. Even when I used them, I couldn't take out as many targets as I can with this. 
it's, it's just an absolute killing machine and I do suggest you guys um, getting it and trying it out it's time to kill it is a little over a second um, but still guys I mean like it don't mean shit I think it's like the middle of is the same but it's just we all know the middle of is a fucking beast as well just get this weapon, try it out, because I guarantee you guys, you will not be disappointed. It's by far my favourite new PvP weapon in the game. It's one of them weapons where, if I like to try and mess about with a weapon like the Null and Beyond, the last word which I'm absolute garbage with, I'll try out new weapons and I end up getting owned. The one weapon I will switch to to pull my game back is this PDX-41, because I know... I just, I just know I can do good with it. It gives you that confidence when you're playing PvP to move forward and just give you a better game, in my opinion. So yes, guys, the PDX41 uh, obtainable via the Gunsmith. Go to him on a Wednesday. If you, if, if, if you haven't got it already, go to him on a Wednesday. Make sure you pick this motherfucker up and wait for a decent roll. I mean, there's no rush. Um, pick up a package on every character. I mean, because you know you'll get a decent roll one week, the next week you'll probably even get a better roll and you'll wish you've got that roll. So yes, buy a package on each character. It's only 2,500 glimmer each. I'm sure you got plenty spare. But yes, guys, the PDX41, try it out. If you've got it already in your vault, dust this motherfucker off, take it into PvP and let me know what you think. Thanks as always though for stopping by and I'll catch you guys on that next one. On your allies, move as one. Get it right, left in the dark.